In our last video, we created a screenshot and pushed it up. And you can see here now that I have that. I mentioned that it wouldn't be very long, and I was right. It actually took about another 45 seconds, and that was it. One more thing I want to show you. When you make a change, you'll get an email that looks very much like this. This was my initial commit, and you can see that I added the PHP file and the README file, and then it lists out the contents of those files. Then I created the screenshot and uploaded a new version of README, and I got this other email, which shows that it modified the README and added the screenshot, and then shows the very minor differences there. Usually you know what you're doing on your plugin and you don't really need to pay much attention to these. If you start getting these when you're not working on your plugin though, it's time to be concerned because perhaps someone has hacked your account and is uploading a bad version of your plugin. So by and large you don't need to do anything with these. But if you start getting unexpected ones, you need to be concerned. The next thing I want to show you is how to create a new version. It's called tagging. We're actually going to create version 1.0 and tag that, but the process would be the same for the future versions as well. We're here in our SVN repo, inside our .org folder. We put our things in trunk earlier, but there's nothing in tags. Now a tagged folder is actually nothing but a complete copy of a single version of your plugin. So I'm going to copy trunk to tags 1.0. There. And inside there is exactly the same stuff as trunk. Now if I were to release a new version, say 2.0, I would do this again but call it 2.0. But then I would edit my readme And I would change this stable tag line to 2.0. Now to be clear, the README in trunk has a line called stable tag, and that points to a folder in the tags folder. Right now it's pointing to 1.0, which is appropriate because that's my latest version. What this does though is allow you to have a version history available on the web. Let's take a look. You can go to Developers, and see where it says Current Version. If you had more versions in the Tags folder, it would show them here. Now I'm going to do SVN Stat, and it shows me that I have a new unknown folder. So I'm going to do SVN Add Tags Asterisk. And there, it added those new things. SVN stat now knows about them. So now I do SVN CI dash M and push it back to the server. Now we didn't really need to do this, create this tag 1.0. It was working just fine with only the version in trunk. And you could actually do that forever if you wanted and never have tagged versions. Always have only trunk. But I like offering past versions. And I wanted to show you how to make a tagged version. In our next video, I'll show you one more cool thing to make your plugin much more attractive to end users.